Hello and welcome back to Thyric Place Groundbreakers. We are still trying to make some progress in the campaign, and I just want to remind everybody that this game is in early access, so it's not complete yet, so there might be uh, some problems we can encounter, but we'll have to wait and see. So I'm slowly but surely getting the hang of things here. I won two matches in a row, and we're actually making some progress here. I found a blueprint and we build another robot. So that's pretty cool. And let's see what we can do here. We do have 553 UC at the moment. But I think I would like to take a turn not attacking, but instead doing other stuff. For one, I would like to repair the cannoneer because he only he's not that durable. So we need to make sure that he... Uh, stick can stay in action. Um, and then I would like to upgrade this area. And that leaves us with five action points still. Oh, wow, the economy space gives us more UC apparently. So we're going to collect here and we can collect there again. And I could actually try to attack, but I think because we're repairing, I won't be able to. Uh, use him, the guy, so I won't. But what else can I do? This is still upgrading as well, and this is fully upgraded, so let's try to recruit, maybe? We've got a success rate of 30, but we could potentially recruit a commander, I think. Oh, if we go up, does the chance go up? It does. But let's keep it at 40... Okay, so our chances are actually... We would need to spend a lot to to get a higher chance. So let's start with 40 and just see. Maybe we get lucky. Okay, so we did not find anything. Uh, and let's end our turn. We're out of action points. So they're expanding or not because they failed their attack. But he's trying again. And this time he made it. Okay, he's not upgrading a lot, I think. Oh, nice, so we get more information here. That's what I was hoping for. So, congratulations on our big victory. Now let me explain how it helped our corp. Look at your resource level. It came from all of our occupied regions. Acquiring new regions will increase these. Upgrading a region also. Yes. Uh, its effects are described in the army menu. So we already started doing that. Uh, let's see. So we can go for the next one here, which is for one heat reduction. So per time point for our robots, uh, our speed. I think, yeah, this is, I don't know why this is still there. It's, it's early access, it happens. So let's go for speed and acquire that, I think. And we also unlock this is more respawn time reduction. That's not too helpful for our current missions, but maybe in other ones it will be helpful. Okay, so this, maybe I the game does not like that I already started doing that and is now having a problem here. I don't know, because this is not going away. Uh, as it probably should. I don't know. Let's let's ignore it for now. We do want to collect the 200 here, of course. And then we've got a spring level. Desert. I don't know what it does yet. We've got another spring. We cannot attack diagonally. And one more spring. So I could upgrade this region once again, and let's do that, I think. And then I would like to attack this region. And can I now take all three of them? I can. And now we will find out if our opponent just matches our... Uh, matches our robots or not. I assume that he will, but you don't know? Yes, he does. Okay, so it's three against three. 
And he, oh, wow, the mini god is going first. And it's a spring again, so uh, we need to be aware of that. I don't know, that's got a range of four, and we can reduce the enemy speed. And this deals damage and pushes them back. And both got a range of four. Uh, what we don't need to decide on that yet, so let's just not. Same goes with Dual Claw. It might be a good idea to just... Oh, wow, he's going all the way up there. Let's just move straight forward for now. And I really like Overdrive, the jump shot. I... It gives us really nice mobility because we could just move somewhere far away with it. But the overdrive lets us position ourselves. Uh, but I will wait till the second turn now to do that. Oh, but he goes for it right away. So let's see how that turns out. Okay. Oh, but maybe we can take that guy down. So, I don't know. I probably just want to attack, in all honesty. What range do we have again with him? Range is four, so one, two, three, four, so probably here. Maybe here would have been good enough. This is probably three, yeah. This is three, I think. Okay, so he does basically no damage. That wasn't the smartest move to make. Let's keep Dual Claw back for another turn. Uh, I don't want to be overwhelmed by both of those. Uh, so let's just move him one space up and end our turn. Yep, so this is going to be a problem. Well, it's actually okay. We have more health than I assumed we would. Oh, what? Why? How come he can do... S he can go before me again there? Oh, no. This is... This is bad. Okay. Um... I need to go with... Oh, oh, what? Who feared when a unit is being damaged or destroyed, the cooldown will reduce by 50. It can only be used. Immediately activate all springed squares. But that shouldn't do anything, I think. Let's go with placement. And go over here. And use placement on dual claw. And let's see how that works. Okay, nice. Oh, we could potentially push someone on a square there. And I feel like I need to sh use steel fuel. But, oh, I hope this works. So let's try this. Uh, let's go with steel fuel and move next to this dual claw and try to kill him, which worked. And we regenerated a lot of health, so that's pretty good. That should mean, well, it depends what this guy does now. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, we are still on cooldown here. Um, one, two, three, four. So if I go here... Okay, we can move over them, I just can't end my turn on them. We can't do this, so I need to just shoot, even though we do not a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, this is pretty bad. He will be back soon, though, apparently, but I still need to attack, I think. Uh, we can't really get away. Ok, 
enemy is respawning. What does that? Oh, can I act with him right away? Oh, mini god is going first again, but I can't use this skill. So actually, let's run away with him. Just to keep ourselves alive uh, long enough that we can maybe use him. Oh, he did not a lot of damage there. Overdrive. Oh, we're still alive. That's awesome. I can use steel fuel again. We can actually increase the power there, but I probably don't need that, so let's not. Let's just use steel fuel and kill him. Thank you. But he's respawning as well, so this might go for a while, in theory. We'll see. So let's do this. And now I can actually use overdrive. And move ourselves up there. Oh, nice. I actually am in range to shoot this guy. That's pretty cool. Um, let's move him there. Okay, I'm not in range and I can't sh use placement, so we will end our turn. What? Time out? Oh! He, okay, so the, we are on a timer, but we took two out of two of his out and he only took one of ours out so we should win I think yep so we've destroyed more than our, I wasn't aware of the timer I missed that somehow <laughs> so we've got that we've got another one and more no chips gained or we did is that supposed to be a blueprint maybe but we did get something there, so let's check that out. For one, what we can immediately do, okay, it's another economy space. We can collect our 200 and upgrade it, which brings us to the end of our actions. So let's see here, what did this give us? We get more boosted economy. So did I find something useful here we got new new and apparently the blueprint is used up if I um, if I build something with it so we can't build this guy again and what about our units maybe we want to upgrade them a little bit again So I'm not sure what these other things are we found there. So what is this? Reflects damage. Leaves electrical charges on the victim. Um, these don't help us too much. So I think it's no real help to do that right now. And I probably shouldn't... I should have repaired our one guy instead of uh, doing something else. Uh, but it should be fine. So let's end our turn. Okay, we upgraded a bunch of stuff. Uh-huh. And I might want to invest more money to get a maybe have a higher chance of recruiting someone. But I don't know yet. So we can upgrade this one again for 200. Uh, it's probably a good idea to do so. So let's let's collect in these two first because it does make the most sense there. Then we are going to upgrade this region 
And then I would like to recruit and we will spend 400. Let's go with 500 and see how our chances are. Then 80. Nope, that's too much. Oh, it does not get rid of the one. It does not do that. So we're going to go with 500. So. And that's a 65% chance. It's. I hope this. It's probably better to just stick with the 40 and try it over and over again but I want to try okay nice that actually did work so we're going to accept and it costs us two UC per turn and these are the grades uh, I don't know what they mean yet but we'll and I assume that I'm I'm overtaking the the game here again but I'm I'm fine with that uh, let's go on our army officer so I've got Isain Ah, so this is, we can just use her instead of ourselves or something like that. Okay, so before we end the episode, let's do one more battle. Do I want to go for this region or do I want to go for this one? This one is not as valuable, we can't upgrade it, I think. So let's go for this one and attack. And we'll take all of them again, and we add our first commander. So, oh, we can actually, we could actually use ourselves. I did not use that, do that before. Let's add. And add ourselves as the second one. That apparently does have some influence. And maybe that actually would have made things easier. So maybe that's what I was missing. Oh, that's a big, bigger battlefield. Eliminate your enemy. Time points limit 7,000. Got it. So this is uh, the time point here. Oh, wow. I can actually go very far with the mini god. But I don't really want to. This guy, I just hate the anti bot. I want to have him myself, but he can shoot us without line of sight with one of his skills. And that's just extremely powerful, so I don't want to be too close to him at the moment. And it might actually be a good idea to use stop on him, so that we can slow him down, uh, possibly. And let's just not move too far up with ourselves. I don't want to overcommit on my position. And that's the end of my turn. Well, if you can call it that. Okay, he's going forward and into range. So he's our prime target right now. Uh, I could just push him back with placement. And deal damage in the process. So we've got a range of four. So one, two, three, four. So we just we would need to go there, but we can't, so we can go here. I think that's what we want. Let's push him back and deal damage in the meantime. These guys should move up, I think. I don't know how good time would be in this case. So placement and do that. Oh, he's so close to being dead. And that's okay. Not the placement I was hoping for, but it's fine. Let's go and stay on the high ground. I can't reach him, but that's fine. Let's see, his dual claw shouldn't be able to reach us as well. Okay, he's going back to heal. That's actually fine. We do have a range of... Five. So if I stay here, I should be able to shoot him. And I don't need overdrive or the jump shot, so let's just shoot him and not spend any points yet. Okay, that's pretty good. I can't do anything here. You know, this being damaged or destroyed, the cooldown will reduce by 500. So how do they unlock the robots to random position dealing small damage? 
Act. What would that bring us, help us to activate it? I, I'm not sure. But I think I want to try. Uh, let's move over here, away from his dual claw. And just... Okay, I can't. <laughs> and I can't even shoot him. We wouldn't do a lot of damage anyways, but it's still a waste. I... Okay, so that's the AI being not so smart. <laughs> Probably. Um, so he's dead. Uh, he killed himself. Uh, in that case, let's put ourselves here. Maybe the AI wants to do that again and just walk over here. Uh, I don't necessarily need to abuse that. Okay, he's not that stupid again. Oh, okay, he did not take us down. I got worried there. But he gets a shot. Ouch. Yeah, this uh, could become a problem, but we'll see. Let's shoot him. I can't use placement at the moment, so let's move here and just shoot him, even though it's not a lot of damage. Dual claw can go back here, and then I'm going to go for steel fuel and do exactly that. It's good enough. We got two. Okay, so I can use placement again, so let's do that. We'll go really aggressive with him. And push him back. And I actually took him down with that. Wow. Uh, that's it, apparently. <laughs> oh, yes, he's got no one remaining. So that's pretty good. That's all. Electric leak. Whenever using a skill, four damage is still to surrounding units. So something we probably want to give to Dual Claw. Okay, but that was pretty successful. So, I do get to upgrade here again, but these are placeholders. Okay, so they're not actually doing anything yet. Uh, let's acquire one anyways. <laughs> it's early access. It, it's, it is what it is, so these kinds of things can happen. Okay, and let's save... And this is where we will end today's episode. So uh, now that I've got a better grasp on the game, I, I, I start to like it a lot more. And so I think I will do a few more episodes and then maybe we'll call it uh, quit for the time being uh, until the game comes out of early access. I, I think I would really like to take a look at the game when it's completely finished. It's just that I, I don't very often play early access games. I, I just like games that are com polished and finished. It's not that, that I, I have anything against uh, early access games, but I don't know. It's I like playing games that are completely out uh, more, to be honest. But it's still, it's, it's, I'm, I'm having a good time here, so it's, it's, it's definitely fun uh, for me. So we will probably do maybe one or two more episodes on the campaign, and then uh, maybe go check out, uh, yes, uh, the Infinity Mine, that could be okay, and maybe I'll find someone to do multiplayer with, I don't know yet, uh, I would really like to see more of the robots that are available, because the ones we see here, uh, in the foreground look, sometimes look pretty cool, this one, for example, is, looks, I like, I like the, 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 the art style of the robots, uh, so that's a big plus in my book. But yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And please give me your feedback on Groundbreakers, what you think of it, uh, what your thoughts are. I would really appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope that you tune in next time and have a nice day. Bye.